Hey, I'm meteorologist Chris Tomer. We've got a lot to talk about with the main part of this atmospheric river now moving into California. Snow levels have been very high, but now they're finally coming down. So I'll explain what all this is and where all that moisture is headed because there's going to be significant snow in the interior Rockies, Utah, Idaho, Wyoming, and parts of Colorado. Uh, first of all, I uh, did a blog post on this this update this morning. I try to do these each morning. Uh, sign up for these if you want to have these delivered to your inbox, but that's what I was talking about. I looked at snow levels with that. I was talking about percents of normal with this atmospheric river, why it's so important. Um, that was a live view at Palisades Tahoe up there early this morning. I mean, the wind was just howling and there was a lot of snow. Talked about this atmospheric river and I've been putting together some very cool uh, types of graphs. If you want to take a look at this, um, this gives you day-by-day -day breakdown of how much snow I think is going to fall at a lot of resorts. I just do select ones, but a lot of the major ones, Tahoe, Mammoth, Sun Valley, Jackson Hole, Wolf Creek, Colorado, Alta, you get the idea. In some places, they're going to get a lot of snowfall as this main impulse, and I'll show it to you, moves onshore and then into the interior. It's going to take all that energy and spill it over the top of the mountains um, in all of those interior states. So that's something you should check out. Sign up for that blog for sure. Um, it's pretty cool. All right, let's take a look at a live uh, view up at Heavenly. This is up in the Tahoe area, it's snowing and blowing up there. Snow levels have been slowly coming down. Um, they may fluctuate during the day, but hoping for 6,000 feet. So that would deliver a lot of snow to a lot of places that haven't gotten any yet, but it's still high in a lot of areas. It's really blasting Tahoe right now. Let me show you the uh, the radar and the satellite. Now, this is something impressive to behold. Look at the spin or the spiral right here um, around this area of low pressure. This is the final impulse and the main atmospheric ripple coming in with this Pineapple Express. But it's just absolutely nailing and like a fire hose up against uh, San Fran, the valleys, the foothills, all the way up into Tahoe. And the radar is having a hard time, but it's definitely warm. It's thinking that most of this is rain unless you're at the highest of elevations. Now, all expectations are that the snow level will start to come down this afternoon tonight to 6,000 feet. It, it may not be right there at this point. It may still be very high. Um, so it's Tahoe's turn right now, and then eventually all of that, that rain, that snow, just general precip will make its way towards Mammoth, where it should be um, turning to mainly snow, even at those you know six, seven, eight thousand foot levels by tonight. So the future aspect of this, let's take a look at where the precip is going. By the time we get into Monday morning, it is still nailing most of Tahoe and Mammoth with snow levels finally beginning to come down. And then look at Sun Valley getting hit. Uh, parts of uh, Jackson Hole will start to see snow on the Tetons and also the Wasatch. This is by Monday afternoon. You can see the whole storm beginning to depart, still snowing hard in Mammoth, but it begins to move towards the Wasatch Monday afternoon, Monday night, and into Tuesday morning. So that's going to be the main impact time frame for Utah, uh, Wyoming, and Colorado is mainly Monday and Tuesday. And in Colorado, it's mainly Monday night into Tuesday. So that's let's see, Tuesday. This is 5 a.m. Notice where the blue is, Wasatch, Tetons. It's finishing up in uh, Idaho. There's going to be some some coming in on the back side of this, even into Wednesday, which I'll show you. But, okay, now it's moving into Colorado there. Um, look at that. So it is, it's there Monday night, Tuesday morning, Tuesday afternoon. It's snowing there in uh, Colorado. And there's some, some residual light snows back through the Tetons and even into Idaho as well on the back side as a new storm hits the Pacific Northwest. So that's Tuesday afternoon. So by the time we roll into Wednesday morning, the whole thing is beginning to depart out of Colorado. and We'll have reached many of the totals in Colorado by Wednesday morning. Now back to the west. So there's your, there's your Wednesday morning. Now back to the west. Notice the flow even behind it. There's still some residual snow in blue up through the Tetons, but it's not nearly as heavy as what we saw with the main storm coming through. Looking at California, behind this main Way, this main impulse with the atmospheric river, there's not a whole lot that'll impact Tahoe or Mammoth behind this. Northern California, yes, up into Seattle, Rainier, Whistler, yes, absolutely up there. But behind it in central and southern California, there's not going to be a whole lot there. So let's just look at some ballpark numbers here. With so much moisture, there are going to be a wide range of totals. 
I think, a couple of feet on the higher aspects of Tahoe by the time all of this is said and done is certainly a possibility. Of course, that's once the snow levels do finally come down. I think two to three feet down around Mammoth is not out of the question. You're a little higher up anyway, so on those highest aspects, I think, you know, three feet not out of the question there. Uh, and like I was saying, up in the Pacific Northwest, there are a couple of different ripples that will lay down some heavy snow. I think Whistler Blackcomb on the higher, this is one of the things you deal with in October, is that a lot of the, the best snow is higher up. So just keep that in mind when you look at these totals, think higher up on the mountain. Um, out to the Wasatch Front, Snowbird, Brighton, Solitude Park City, all around 20 inches, give or take, you know, a few here and there. Um, even Brian Head will do well. Um, Jackson Hole, uh, over a foot possible by all the time is when, when this is said and done. In Colorado, less. Uh, I think moderate accumulations with this as it slides through Colorado, the flow isn't as good. I think parts of the San Juans may actually do the best around Silverton and Red Mountain and Coal Bank passes. Um, otherwise, we're looking at about a four to six inch total here through Loveland and Winter Park, Steamboat up in a veil and down over Wolf Creek. So you get an idea, that's a ballpark at this point all the way through Wednesday morning. This is an exciting pattern um, with this, uh, this much moisture moving into the interior. Um, this definitely will put us in, in better shape um, as we head into the last week here of October and November just around the corner. Always appreciate you guys tuning in here. Thank you. Take care.